Tolerance in our time is an important element of mass culture. People have become fragile and tender. Nobody can be harmed. Many developers adhere to this rule and make the most tolerant games for everyone. LGBT, strong women and racial equality. In this video, we have collected for you projects in which the developers have twisted these parameters to the maximum. Thank you for watching the RTV Gaming channel and let's get started. Let's start the list with the flagship of tolerance from Electronic Arts. BioWare tried very hard to make Dragon Age, Inquisition for all segments of the population, it's a pity that ordinary gamers who are out of all these newfangled trends were left behind. The makings of an agenda appeared in the second part of the RPG, but in all its glory the LGBT theme was revealed precisely in the Inquisition. Probably about 70% of all characters in the game can be gay or lesbian. This doesn't just apply to people. Representatives of other races also do not shy away from having an intimate relationship with people of their own gender. I would like to believe that in the next part of the franchise, the LGBT theme will fade into the background and we will finally be pleased with a really good story. We could not pass by the wonderful Mass Effect, Andromeda, because it is in many ways similar to the last member of the list. Not only is there no trace of the former greatness of the Mass Effect series, so the developers decided to compensate for the lack of a cool story, again with an LGBT agenda. There are again many minorities for every taste and color. In addition, it is very difficult to find a really beautiful female character in the game. Yes, all the girls are beautiful, but why deliberately endow all the heroines with such a strange appearance? Since the era of equality is now underway, why infringe on girls of pretty representatives of the weaker sex? Oh. EA is on a roll today. The Sims series stands out from the rest of BioWare's creations. Same-sex marriage in The Sims 3 has become almost the main feature, talking about which EA attracted the attention of future buyers. After the release, the game managed to avoid the righteous wrath of gamers about this. Most likely, this is due to the time the game was released. Then, in 2009, tolerance and everything connected with it were not yet as tired of society as they are now. Perhaps that is why the players wrote it all off as an isolated incident and did not stir up loud scandals. Let's take a break from Electronic Arts and head to Ancient Greece as featured in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let's omit the illogicality of the appearance of the function of choosing the gender of the protagonist within the game universe. Although this also caused an uproar among the fans. Let's not say that there were no gays in Ancient Greece. They were, and there were a lot of them. The main problem of Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the cowardice of the developers. Initially, in the shadows of the past add-on, the main character, regardless of gender, decided to continue his race, and therefore join the ranks of heterosexuals. This plot move did not appeal to the LGBT community. As you and I know, Ubisoft did not argue with them and, discarding the logic, adjusted the ending in such a way that the characters could not conceive a child. Where does the heroine come from in the present tense? Who started it? Why does she remember the lives of these people? It doesn't matter who the main character is. It does not matter what his or her sexual orientation is, what skin color and what religion. The main thing is that the game turned out to be good, and developers do not always cope with this point.